Welcome, KSL Gang. Welcome KSL gang. So today we have a Bath and Body Works haul. I have the Champagne Brunch collection. As you're going to see, I have multiples of a lot of them. Usually I like to try out new fragrances for a while before I buy backups. So I have my online order that came and then I did an in-store pickup. And then my husband surprised me and came home with a bag of fragrances. He didn't know which ones that I already had. He was just trying to do something really sweet. I think he got me like six or seven of them and which was really really sweet so that's how i end up with multiple backups but i'm not mad at it okay so let's jump in first up we have white t-shirt it is not part of the brunch collection but it did come out and i definitely had to pick it up so when i first picked these up i had grabbed two of them and once i tried it i went back and got two more especially while they were 650 i definitely had to get back up on back up on back up I actually did my review on this one. It should be up before this video. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this one. I have multiple fresh and clean scents, but this one right here takes all of them. It's long lasting. It's lingering. It doesn't just have like a strong powder scent to it. It's more on that just crisp, fresh, and clean. You have a little powder note to it, but like I said on my review, it's more on the background and it's really, really soft. But definitely check out my white t-shirt review. I get more in depth on it. Absolutely love it. Just waiting on the rest of the collection to come out. And as for now, it's not online. You have to get this one in store. I don't know if they're going to put this one online. I hope they do. I hope everyone gets to try this one out, especially if you love these type of scents. Next up, we have Gingham Love. I got one body cream and three of the mists. This review should be up this week. I'm gonna record it either today or tomorrow. I got multiple backups on this one and this one was on purpose. If y'all seen previous videos from the beginning, y'all know how I feel about the original Gingham. That's like one of my top, top favorites. And I never did talk about Gingham Hearts. I like that one, but not as much as the original and this one. This one's so good and the lasting power is unbelievable for a body mist. I know they have the perfume on this one, so I cannot wait to get that. I need the perfume. And that was me trying it without the cream. When I tried it by itself, very long lasting. Like I said, if the mist is like this, I'm just thinking like what the perfume gonna be like. So I cannot wait to try them two together. But when I paired it with the body cream, it was just, I was just indulging in it by then. Next up, we have Pear Cream Brulee. I'm thinking this one is a popular one because it sold out during the sale. And I think the other ones are still available. So that should say something about this one. I'm still actual testing this one out. Hopefully I will come my review later on in the week. So far, I'm liking this one. I'm just playing around with what I'm wearing this one with. But so far, so good. I've really been loving the packaging of the brunch collection. It's really, really pretty. Pear Cream Brulee is Grimaud all day. Next up, we have Wiltberry Moraine. I know a lot of people are disappointed that this is a repackage of Boardwalk Taffy and Cotton Candy Clouds. I'm going to say I absolutely love those two scents, so I do not mind. It would have been cool to come out with something totally different, but I do not mind, especially for collection purposes. And just to have different packagings that I think is pretty cool to do. But yeah, I know how I feel about Cotton Candy Clouds. That was one of my favorites in my top fragrances of 2021. I will always love Cotton Candy Clouds, but it goes for Boardwalk Taffy too, because they're like pretty much the same. I feel the same way about this one. I say if you don't have Boardwalk Taffy or Cotton Candy Clouds, you should definitely try it out. Or if you like me and you love to have different packaging and your collector, also get it. I do not mind having the same scent. And y'all, I'm in a couple of Bath and Body Works groups on Facebook and different sites. And people was arguing that these do not smell like the other two. They was like, they're all different. They're all different. That's why everyone has different senses. To that person, it might be different. They might do smell different to them. But for me, they all smell pretty much the same. But like I say, for somebody else, it can be a total different scent for them. Next up, I got two of the Bubbly Rosé. I haven't had a chance to just try this one out and test it out. But I did spray it one time just to see how it smells. It's sparkly, bubbly, and sweet. I definitely will come back with a review on this one when I get more use of it. Next up, we have Peach Prosecco Macaron. Now, I only got one of these. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get a backup because I do have other peach scents. 
and I'm not overly obsessed with peach, but I do like it. I have yet to test it out for more than one day, so I want to test this out more before I do a full review on it. But you definitely get peach on this one. You definitely get peach from the start until the dry down. It's all the way through it. Next up, we have coconut cream pie. It's back from last year. I was so excited when they brought this one back. Now they need to stop playing around and bring back raspberry jam donut. But we shall see. They're always throwing surprises at us. But y'all, I don't know. Is it me? Because I feel like something different about this in a very good way. I don't know. It smells like more caramelized or more of a buttery flaky crust note. I don't know. In the other one, I smell more coconut. And this one is more caramelized and pie crust or something it can be slightly different but i still absolutely love both of them next up we have a thousand wishes for you and we know what's repackaged we know it's a thousand christmas wishes but like i said because i'm a collector i love the new packaging on it but if you're not obsessed with the scent and you got plenty of a thousand christmas wishes you might not want it but i would not be getting any backups on this one because i have like three of a thousand christmas wishes but the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful next up we have fresh coconut and cotton i didn't think i would like this one but it's a perfect combination between coconut and fresh and clean so I think I definitely should get a backup of this one. I haven't tried it out for more than a day, so I do want to try this one out more to get a full feel of it. If I get anything else in this collection, I won't mind getting a lotion or a cream. I don't know if I get a shower gel. I do have other scents that's familiar with this one. And y'all, this is the exact same packaging as white t-shirt. Like, did someone get bored or something? Let me bring back white t-shirt to make sure. Okay, y'all, this is the same packaging except for white t-shirt. It's more of a smoky grayness. Like, y'all, they could have did something with these packaging. Next up, we got strawberry pound cake in a faceted collection. I haven't got this one in the last couple of packaging, but I definitely wanted it in a faceted collection because I actually been collecting the faceted packaging. I love this for strawberry pound cake. I was happy that it came in this type of packaging. Last up, we have Confetti Daydream. I didn't get to get this one last year in the mist, so I'm happy it came back out. I do have a shower gel and a body cream to this one. I was pairing it with other things, so I'm really happy to have Confetti Daydream. And the color on this one is really pretty. Had to be one of my favorites in the faceted. Okay guys, that's going to conclude my haul. What have you been loving from the Champagne Brunch collection? After I post my review for Gingham Love, what do you guys want me to review next? I'm going to let you pick. So whoever comments first on which one I should review next, that's the one I will be reviewing. If you haven't already, subscribe and join the KSL gang. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey KSL gang, if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes, Make sure you check out my main channel in Kiki's Kitchen. I'll see you over there.